I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. Says the woman who sent a flying nanny with a talking umbrella to save the children. You think Mary Poppins has come to save the children? Oh, dear. Well, I really enjoyed this film. I think I came in thinking it would be more of a comedy because of the fact that it was about kind of how Mary Poppins became part of Disney's properties. Mm -hmm. And I was really crying a little bit. <laughs> Good, I think. It right? was a little bit of a tearjerker. Right. So what was that like to direct? Uh, it, it, was, it was fantastic. I mean, obviously a, a terrific cast, um, but just the examination of where stories come from and the creative process was fascinating to me. So I, love, I loved every day. What were some of the challenges of bringing something like this to the big screen? Because everyone in the world knows the story of Mary Poppins, right. but not everybody knows how Mary Poppins became made. Right. Well, I think one of the challenges is, is integrating 1906 Australia and the tragic origin story of Mary Poppins into 1961, and hopefully presenting it in a way that it doesn't feel like you're just flashing back, that these are two timelines that are kind of folding over one another. What was it like uh, directing Emma and Tom, two great oh. heavies in the world of acting? I had, the, I mean, those, those guys are amazing. I mean, they're amazing and they're such good partners and they're so generous both to crew and to their fellow actors. Mm -hmm. um, just, it, it pays to have smart people, you know, surround yourself with people that are smarter than you and it makes a difference. That's, that's my uh, secret to success. Well, you know, I was looking at um, your background and you are more known for doing the sports drama type of, of films, I think, in terms mm -hmm. of directing. So this couldn't be more out of left field. But no. I, I would think it was a little bit scary, but very challenging as well. Kind of exciting to take something like this on. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I have done two sports movies, which surprised me because I never thought I would. Most of the stuff I'd written was, was a completely different. So you never know what you never know what's going to happen. I mean, you just, you, you want to tell stories that are good stories, and sometimes they happen to be in the arena of sports, and sometimes they happen to be in the arena of musicals uh, from Disney. She's here. A uh, word of advice, Mrs. Travers, if I may. You may, whether I heed it or not, will be another matter entirely. Well, uh, it, it's, it's just that he, he can't stand being called Mr. Disney. We're all on a first name basis here. Mm. <laughs> well? Here you are, at last. Oh, my dear gal, you can't imagine how excited I am to finally meet you. <laughs> but it's an honor. It's oh, Walt, man, you gotta call me Walt. Mr. Dizzy was my old man, isn't that right, Doc? Absolutely, Walt. Come here. Come here. Tommy, say hello to the one and only Pamela Travers. It's so nice to meet you. You know, I, I, I can't believe it. P.L. Travers right here in my office. After, uh, all these years, almost 20 of them? Mm, yes. 20 long years. Uh, I wish you could have seen me then, Pam. Lean as a whippet I was. A racehorse. Well, anyway. <laughs> now, here you are, and look at you. Well, I could just eat you up. That wouldn't be appropriate. But one thing I like about this film is that even though it's distributed by the Disney Studios, they don't sugarcoat the contentions battle mm -hmm. between how they came about buying this mm -hmm. or securing the rights mm -hmm. for Mary Poppins. And mm -hmm. I like the fact that they were very open and honest about that. Was that something that you yeah, noticed too? Yeah, and I, I honestly think this is a script that probably couldn't have been developed at Disney. I think they couldn't help themselves. They probably would have chipped away at Walt and made him less human and more of a god. Um, so the fact that you know it has Australian roots and UK and BBC films allowed it to be presented as a script fully formed. Um, and then Disney was brave enough to say, yes. What about how the critics are taking it? I'm hearing positive things, so does that feel good, all your hard work? Because so often yeah. as directors, you know, you put your heart and soul into something and you never know how the critics will receive it. It's a year and a half of your life, any way you cut <laughs> it. You know, and, that, and that's if it happens quickly. Sometimes the blind side was four years, you know. So you, it does, it does, you do care that people see it. You do want people to like it. You know not everyone's going to. That's just the way it is. But. That's why I, I, I try not to read too much. And, but I just, I ask, is it going okay? And they say, yeah, it's going great. Good, okay, perfect. <laughs> this is award season, so I could see you guys being nominated for something for sure, really well done film. I'm wondering if you were a part of this film, if you could have directed any other film, 
this year, which one would you have said, you know what, that's a great film. I would have loved to have had a chance to direct that. Wow. A lot of good ones out there this award season. It's unbelievable year for movies, and that makes me very, very happy because so many of the good ones are adult dramas, and that's what I do, which means maybe I'll get employed again, which is great. I want them all to do really well and make money. Um, no, it's exciting. You know, I couldn't, I, none of them would, I, I couldn't have done any of them as well. I'll, I'll say I'll say that I did the I did the right movie. If we're you know the, if we're talking about twenty movies now that are that are fantastic this year, that have come out or are about to come out, but I look at I would I would have loved to have been around or learned the technology from Alfonso for Gravity, you know just to to help my brain grow a little bit. I I, I would love that that kind of challenge. I love it. Great. Good to hear. Well, congratulations on a good Thanks film. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you.